Uh, St. Nicholas Abbey. This is the uh, one of the best preserved of the plantation villas on uh, Barbados. And it's got its own steam train, which I shall be on at a quarter past one. I'm going to have a look at the house now. Walking through the back way, and I arrived by the back way. The bus driver was very kind, and he said, I can drop you at the official point, and you have a walk or I can drop you at the unofficial point and you only have five minutes to go which was sort of like a cart track and that's the way I came and I'm the only person doing that apparently I didn't see anybody else so these are the gardens of the Abbey there's a little cafe at the back there and some very nice Georgian windows This is very smart. Wow, look at the dinner table. Gives you an idea of how these people used to live. In very good nick as well. Look at the doors. Old style doors. Like a, um, like a shutter. Furniture from, I guess, mahogany. Lovely couch. And you know the one thing I'm missing? A fireplace, because they don't need a fireplace. Lovely crockery. Sets of crockery. Hello, mister. Hey. Trying to hide from me, I think. Or has he caught something? Maybe he's called a beetle. Yeah, some people say cross the eyes, some people say cross the mouth. Mm -hmm. Now, you're not allowed up the stairs because the staircase was last changed in 1746. <laughs> that year, same year, they, they added a molded along the ceiling. They changed the staircase from the left to the right. They added a porch and they changed the windows from the old push out for the stage to the side. Because you know different owners would do slightly different things that update, you know, you buy mostly you normal know, oil my grandmother's you know, you or something else, but they added, you know, a little bit of changing. But you know, living on the island, decided to go back home, they wanted to donate to some place where people can see it. So we're the lucky ones. Mm -hmm. So it is my favorite piece in the house, along with the gentleman's chair back in the yes. study. So listen up, those two belong to me. <laughs> <laughs> you can take anything else. Now, when we got it, it was just a hard wood, so we added a cushion for comfort, and you lift the, the lid, and that was used for storage. Those picture takers, the years in the middle, 1696. All the other furniture in the house. Not quite as dense as the jungles in Trinidad, for obvious reasons. This is part of the uh, rum making operation of St. Nicholas. Very peaceful and quiet here. And what do I see? I think I see a gravel. I'll ask the lady when she comes. So this is the gentleman showing us round at the Abbey. Yeah, Are you the owner, sir? Yeah, yeah, I'm one of the owners. Uh -huh. We bought it in 2006. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, Warren family? Yeah, yeah, my father's Larry Warren, I'm Simon Warren. Uh -huh. My mother is down the hill, she's Anna Warren. 
I see. Yeah. Oh, lovely place you got here. Thank you very much. But I'm missing something, you know. I oh, go yeah. around these houses very, very often. Yeah. And what I'm missing is. Don't run. No yeah. fireplaces. You haven't no, got a fireplace. Yeah, could I have um, English breakfast tea? And have you got your uh, Abbey bread pudding? No, unfortunately, not, not the bread pudding. Uh huh. Yeah. So, can I have a piece of uh, Abbey vanilla rum cake, cake? Yeah. please? Yeah. So, you're having a pot of tea for one or two? Uh, no, just one. I'm on my own. Yeah, thank you. They have, they have fireplaces upstairs, you know. Oh, right, but yeah, we weren't yeah, allowed upstairs. They, no, because they brought. Well, that so, this is the railway. There's the, uh, the engine up front, um, driven by steam, but how the steam is produced, I don't know. I don't actually see any coal, so I'm not sure what they're burning. Maybe gas, maybe a gas boiler. This is the station, and uh, I don't know how original these carriages are. Uh, used mainly in association with uh, rum and sugar production. Um, I should be reading all of these uh, placards when I come back down, because we're about to leave. And the interesting thing is, that, so, there are lots of bridges and various bits and pieces, uh, and there is a steep ascent some way along, which the original uh, trains couldn't manage, and um, very often passengers had to push, and quite often they had to get out and walk, so you'd have the first class passengers on board and the uh, second class passengers um, walking alongside. Isn't that interesting? Here we go, moving out of the station now. Top speed five miles an hour. Or oh, maybe it's more, I don't know. And we go up to the top of Cherry Hill, which is extremely high. From here you get a good view. I guess from Cherry Hill you get a, an even better one. Very tall Royal Palms there that are actually a staple of plantations here in the Caribbean. However, this place was had a different kind of name for the original plantation map. Ladies and gentlemen, this place is what's called Fours Alley. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't know why the plantation water gave it that name, but that's the colorful name that we chose for today. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you look adjacent to these Royal Palms, and to your left, you can actually see the rest of the road that they would use to transport everything. We have to cut our way through that roadway to build this house. So speaking of cutting and building and so on, this third cutting here is actually 30 feet across the box. As you're going through, and it will be using modern day excavation. Meanwhile, the cutting of the river will be dangerous to the side of the house, 30 feet deep, down by a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, as we exit the planet, you can see to our left of here, right here, we have our quarries to the left. Volunteer, the male volunteer, because there was only one male in the front carriage, and I have to uh, push the carriage round now. I don't think I'll be very much help, but I'll try. All right, on the corner, three, one, two, three. It's three. not me pushing, I think it's them pushing. Oh. All I need to do is get it going. Want to get it going? Just have to walk with it from there. Slow down, slow down. Don't try to stop it. Just let it, just let it go with the flow. Good. Look at this view coming up now. Wow, I hope this comes out on the camera. Look at that. This is the Cherry Hill view. Isn't this what you think of when you think of Barbados? Not bad. So this is another view of the house from the side. It is a very handsome house, isn't it? And it's been and very well kept. So this part has obviously been uh, renovated recently. And this part here uh, was built fairly recently. Oh, I can't remember what he said now. Was it the 30s or the 80s? I can't remember. Anyway, and there are all the amenities, um, bathroom and things like that. Um, and this is what they used before that. 
So a communal bathroom out of the house, downwind of course. The, the whole house was designed in such a way that it uh, stands against the wind in exactly the right way. So all of these things are downwind and the wind um, blows through the house to create um, a sort of artificial air conditioning. And this is the rather communal toilet. You don't get many toilets like this nowadays. This and this and those two up there are the same as the bird on Antigua. It looks like it to me that they call a draggle. I think that's a young one. He's fl or, I don't know, he's, uh, are these coupling movements that they're making? Lovely yellow eyes they've got. Draggle. A um, bit like a starling. But I'm not an expert. And just look at the lovely colours in the garden. Those are the uh, bushes that uh, the sunbirds love so much in Dubai. Bit of lawn. I don't think this is the uh, croquet lawn. There is a croquet lawn somewhere. Reds, yellows, lilacs. Very nice, very nice. And that one over there with the red leaves.